Have you ever wondered what your brain is doing while you're playing a slot machine? Well, a group of scientists asked that same question and what they found might surprise you. These scientists took two groups of people, gambling addicts and people who don't have a problem with gambling, and they looked at their brains while they were playing slot machines. So basically there's three outcomes from playing a slot machine. Number one, you win. If you look at the brains of the addicts and the non-addicts when they win, both brains get excited. Everybody loves to win. The second option is of course to lose. And both the brains of the addicts and the non-addicts didn't like losing. Their brain got upset as if they wanted to walk away. But there's a third option with the slot machine. Have you ever been playing and it goes cherry, cherry, almost cherry, and then slips to diamond? That's called the near miss. If you looked at the non-addict's brain, their brain treated the near miss like a loss. They wanted to run away from the machine. But the addict's brain, when they saw the near miss, got even more excited than if they won. It's believed that that excitement drives the addict to put more coins in the machine when they experience the near miss. Brain scientists figured this out recently, but casinos figured this out a long time ago and have been programming their machines for more near misses because they see how it gets people excited. Another place where you'll see the near miss is the lottery. Have you ever scratched off a lottery ticket and you think you're almost gonna win? That's another near miss. These are some interesting examples where two brains can look at the same thing and have a very different reaction. If you'd like to find out more about addiction in the brain, you can check out this video. I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope this information doesn't get my kneecaps broken. Thanks for watching A Dose of Science.